Hey everybody, this is Sam Glenn. Welcome to my art studio. Today I'm going to be announcing the painting and print of the month for January 2022. Every month I am going to have a new painting, a new message, and a new print. And if you're one of the first 25 people, the first 25 humans to purchase the print of the month, you will be entered to win the original painting. But the second bonus is this. The second bonus for the first 25 people is you're going to get an extra print of another painting. So let's get into it. What is the painting of the month? It's the rise of the phoenix. The rise of the phoenix. Rising from the ashes. Rebirth. Rediscovery. And here's the... This is going to be the print of the month. And the first 25 people will get a second print. But we're going to do something special for January... Just to kick off the new year, everybody who gets the print of the month will get an additional print of, of the Phoenix, of this one. Um, this one, the first 25 people to get it will be entered to win this one. And usually we'll announce that a couple days after this video. If you follow me on Facebook, that's where I interact, that's where I hang out. Uh, probably Friday or Saturday, we'll post the winner for that. Uh, the other two are practice paintings. If you follow my work, you know that practice paintings are discounted paintings. So these will be available on the website. But let me show you what they look like. Now, I live pretty close to Ikea. So I'm kind of a fan. And that's what they look like framed. Doesn't that look good? You can put it like that, like that, like this. However you want. They're your prints. So the message, how do we rise up? How do we rise up? I started thinking about that. One of the biggest challenges that I face is that sometimes I'm not really happy with myself. And I, 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 I do the math. I look at how old I am and I don't feel like I've achieved what I want. And, and I get impatient with that. And then I look at the challenges. You add the challenges. I, I mean, there's, there's a new challenge every day. There's challenges in the world. It seems like with this COVID, this pandemic going into the third year, it seems like every week there's a new variant. And so, so there's that element of uncertainty. And then I, I don't know what it is for you. Maybe it's the loss of a relationship didn't work out. Maybe your health, you're struggling in your health. Maybe you gotta have a job that you're just like, you just wake up on Mondays. Do you know that feeling? You're like, oh, you struggle. There are things that we struggle with. But the rise up attitude, when I think of the Phoenix, I think of, we can complain about it, we can dwell on it, or we can do something about it. We can make better choices, choose a better attitude, take better actions. And in doing those three things, choices, attitude, action, and doing those three things with purpose to rise up, we can rise above our circumstances. And maybe, maybe it might not be the most ideal situation, but with the rise up attitude, you make the best of it. And that's a good thing. Hey, we might not have the best of things right now, but we make the best of it. You guys who follow me on Facebook, you know I've talked about my art studio. My art studio, we moved to be closer to our kids' school, and we kind of downsized a little bit because of the housing market. We just couldn't find, uh, there, there was just nothing available that, that was ultimately suitable for my art needs. But this is a small space, but you know what? I'm not going to complain about it. I'm making the best of it. I mean, I'm still making great artwork. I'm still having fun. That's the rise up attitude. That's a rise up choice. That's a rise up action. So I want you to think about what you need to rise up with. Are you complaining about it? Are you feeling, hey, not good about yourself? Are you, are you throwing logs on the fire of a pity party? I've been there. You're just like, things aren't the way I want. There's another log on the fire. <laughs> Well, let's keep this pity party going. Hey, I think the rise up spirit is to say enough is enough. 
Today, I'm gonna to make a better choice. I'm gonna choose a better attitude. I'm gonna take better actions. Maybe you struggle with your health. I do. Instead of putting it off, procrastinating, and, and making a New Year's resolution that's ridiculous, it, 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 it's starting small. It's about saying, you know what? I'm not gonna have the salad tomorrow. I'm gonna to have it tonight. Instead of playing around on the internet or watching TV, I, tonight I'm going to look up recipes that I can make every day that will give me energy, make me feel good about myself, and it's good for my body. That is a choice. That is an attitude. That is an action. That is how you rise up from the ashes. That is how you make the best of it moving forward. It's not about perfection. It's about progress. And that's what the Rise Up Spirit's about. Maybe you lost somebody. Maybe a relationship just didn't work out. Or maybe you're struggling. So you ask yourself, what choice can I make today? What attitude can I choose today that will work for me? What actions can I do today that will work for me? And maybe, maybe things are pretty tough and you're saying, Sam, I, I just don't have the energy. I know what that's like. Maybe just start small. If you get enough energy to go to the mailbox, get the mail, come in, and that makes you feel good, start there. The rise up spirit. So guys, that's this message. The message of the Phoenix. I, I want to encourage you, maybe look up online um, what the, the symbol is of the Phoenix. And uh, it's got a very inspirational message. And I want you to think about how can you rise up right now? where you're at with your family, your job, your circumstances. What choices can you make? What attitudes can you choose? What actions can you take? Those three things. All right, guys, uh, keep following me on Facebook. Remember, if you ever see any of my art available, you want to inquire, and if it's not in my store, just email amanda at samglenn.com. Uh, next month, I'll be back with a whole new painting, another message, and another print. All right, guys, I'm rooting for you. God bless. Stay strong. Keep rising up.